We have been exploring the fundamental processing unit for object detection, such as the bounding boxes and the anchor boxes. Besides, in the RCNN lecture, we talked about one dominant object detection strategy, which uses the original based object detection model, such as the RCNN model. However, the modeling strategy requires to extract features by reading the same images hundreds of times. Can we simplify the duplicated times for reading the same images? Well, in this lecture, we will dive deep to another modeling strategy, which is the Yulu model. So Yulu is short for you only look once. It is proposed by Raymond et al. from Allen Institute for AI at University of Washington and Facebook AI Research. So why it is named as you only looked once? Compared with regional-based strategy, you has a different philosophy. It processes the whole image all at once. So how does you work? Let's look into the detail of the plot on our left. So first, we divide the image into S by S gray cells. For example, assuming we divide this image into 7 by 7 cells. And then, for each cell, we apply a fixed number of anchor boxes with different shapes and sizes. If assuming two boxes at each grid, then the total number of boxes per image will be 7 by 7 by 2, which equals to 98. Then we can train a model and have each cell output one class label. After that, you do execute two folds of algorithms. The first, as for each bounding boxes, you do output the four coordinates bx, b1, bh, bw of the box, where bx and by are the coordinates of the center, bh and bw are the height and width of the boxes. Besides, Yulu also outputs the confidence probability, PC, which means if there is an object enclosing in this bounding box. The other branch of algorithm is executing on each grid cell. So for each grid, Yulu applies the softmax classifier and outputs the probabilities of this cell contains in each class objects. For example, if we have three classes, dog, bike, and car here, then Yulu will output probabilities of the cell if the cell is from the dog or bike or car. And uh, if we combine these two branches of algorithm together, here is the final output for Yulu. So the original network was running on Pascal Walk dataset. So it has 20 object classes. It also used a 7x7 seven seven grid and two bounding boxes per grid. Again, each bounding box outputs five coordinates and that is a two times five. And each grid needs to output its confidence probabilities for each object class, so that is a 2 times 5 plus 20. Hence, the final output has a shape of 7 by 7 times with 30 for each image. However, in practice, we may use a larger grid, such as 19 by 19, and more bounding boxes per grid, such as 8 or even more. And in the end, we need to eliminate the bounding boxes with low confidence probabilities of being an object. 
which is the PC and the five components of each bounding box. And then we apply the non-max suppression or NMS algorithm that we learned from the bounding box lecture and combine it with the boxes together. So Yulu is such a simple and fast algorithm for object detection, especially compared with the region-based method, such as RCNN. It can run even on real-time streaming videos. However, it has some drawbacks as well. Because of the spatial constraints of the grid cell, the bounty boxes are limited to certain cell location. Also, small objects that are close to each other may be missed, such as a flock of birds. What's more, it is difficult to generalize a pre-trained model to other aspect ratios of objects. So that is the uh, modeling details behind the scene of the Yulu algorithm. Let's go ahead and use a pre-trained Yulu model from Gluon CV Model 2 and apply it on an object detection task. Let's open the Jupyter Notebook MLA CV Day3 Yulu the Jupyter Notebook. 